All righty, got a uh, special guest today on a Thursday, Daryl the Guru Johnson, joining us. Okay, turn the music uh, off, Spadoni. <laughs> Because I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you brought it yeah, up. No. The YouTube people I love. I'm a family guy. I got parents. I love my dad. I love you. The best part of my morning is seeing Evan Spadoni, Bonte, and Butch in the quick minutes that we do. Willard and Dibs and Nahigian. But I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. When your boy's not here, I'm tending the family. So cut the crap. I didn't appreciate that because somebody goes goop on me on PTO. I'm tending to stuff. Let's Come see, on, man. bud. And you're <laughs> laughing like a little kid. Pull my finger. Get rid of yeah. the video. Dude, I how you give doing? I want to give credit to, to who reminded me. Now, dude. Somebody on the... Uh, Straight drive-by early. Was it on the... Was it on the... Uh, it was on YouTube, Steiny. YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, somebody said... I don't oh, give a good. rat's behind because I'm here, baby. Let's go. But you're cheesing. Did, as you, you brought it up to me, so yeah. let's be honest All about right. that. I'm not just. Yeah, I, I know. You, 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 you said it was going to be okay to give you grief. What's right up, right. baby? All right. So. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. All right. So. Uh, All right. What you got? You don't. You don't like. We, we got a bunch to talk about, yeah. but something just happened. Not happened, but I'm, I just been thinking about something, and it's been take. It's uh, over the course of a, a few. A few days. So yesterday, the uh, uh, Willard and Dibs and you were in here when they were talking about Brandon Crawford. Oh yeah, and where he at? Where's he at? Where he's at in his career? And then uh, morning show today, the morning roast with Bonte and Shasky talked a lot about uh, Clay Thompson. Where's Clay Thompson? Yeah. All right, I'm, this is all ad lib. Okay. I didn't gotcha. no prep here. I didn't freestyle. I didn't, I didn't uh, screen this okay. with you. Who in the Bay Area is the most iconic? In the history of the Bay Area, the most iconic coach slash general manager, would you say? I already know the man with the white hair, Bill Walsh. Bill Walsh. To me. Bill Walsh. Yep. Bill Walsh has an adage attached to his name. I know where you're going. It's better to move off a player a year early than a year late. That's the most iconic coach GM saying that. Why is everyone so gutless? Because they can't do it. You say it's right. You say it's genius. You say it makes sense. But nobody does it. Because they're scared, apparently. They're scared. We've seen it now. Over the course of the last six or eight years in the Bay, why can general managers, fans, coaches not try to subscribe to the genius, Bill Walsh, and his philosophy? This is awesome. So you're going Lex Luthor early because you're throwing grenades, it's question. daggers. It's a question. Steiny, you have friends. You're a dad. You're a partner. Life is more than just being able to, like the great Bill Walsh, say, F it, keep my feelings out of it, keep the relationship and the length of the relationship out of it. Just because it's sports, bud, doesn't mean you don't get attached or fan bases get yeah. attached. So yeah. a lot of GMs and owners, and you tease me about, oh, Guru, you would be broke as an owner or a GM. But I'm loyal, Steiny. So Great. everybody's not like Bill Walsh and the mm. Brandon Crawford okay. thing. It's obvious he's slipping. He looks a little. He looks a little overweight, Steiny. But what oh. has he earned? Nothing. 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 He's earned nothing. Wow. Everything he's earned, he's been paid for. Is he earning his paycheck right now? I mean, I would Off say no, slow start, but I don't yeah. care about, like, that's yeah. not what I'm getting. That's not what I'm getting to. I'm getting to, why is there this incongruity Bill Walsh is idolized around here? I just, I just, yeah. I just wrote down a couple guys. Oh, yeah. Brandon Crawford. Yeah, that's a year too long. Brandon Belt. Eh, maybe one year too long, but I moved off. Them. Okay. Who do, who do you, uh, it was the last player maybe the Giants moved off of a year early? You know what? We got to let him go. 
Madison Bumgarner. And how would that work out? Exactly. Good. Oh, but Madison Bumgarner is the the heroic figure of of uh, the last World Series. Uh, okay, they moved off him. It was a great move. Brian Wilson, remember Brian Wilson, good reliever for yeah. the Giants. They moved off him at thirty. He went to the Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, basically didn't. That was uh, a great move. Thank you. They're all great moves. They're all Forty Nine ers moving off of Montana worked because it gave Steve Young the starting job. Come on. Come on now. So where are you applying this to from a Golden State Warriors standpoint you're, and San Francisco Giant? Because you got because it seems to me you got Crawford not, you know, you on said, public enemy, number one right now. Not, it's, 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 don't do that. What? It's not about being public enemy. It's about utilizing a front office and your general manager and your owner to make business decisions. And you said it's sports. Well, I think it's business. And I think it's entertainment. Mm. And it's you know all what? that. It's all that. But it's also relationships too, Stani. What about what about running a business? You, see, here's the thing. Like you, what what I hear what I hear you saying is we well, got to play Brandon Crawford. Well, why? <sighs> what? This is professional sports. I'm shut. Like I think most people after I think most people. Are, Agree with me. Like, what are you going to play, Brandon Bell or Brandon Crawford? Because he's was good ten years ago. No, but no, no you gonna, you know. you're, you're going to pay Clay Thompson a boatload of money, even though he's past his prime. That's that's lunacy to me. Well, it's out. sad. But it's the nature yeah, of it sports. It ain't sad yet for Brandon Crawford because he's already getting platoon. But, Stiney, it's not like you had a sign on the street corner before game one of the Major League Baseball season, the season opener, and you were saying this Crawford thing's going to blow up. If Correa would have came, they were already moving him to third. But, <gasps> oh, no. I guess uh -oh. But 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 he had only played shortstop. Every game in his career, it might have been a slap in the face. And it was already signs that he you was, break. you know, that, it, that, yeah. that yeah, he was outgrowing the position. Yeah, they so. signed, they, they gave him too many years. But to answer your question, why everybody's not Bill Walsh, everybody's not a savage. Well, first of all, the fans don't matter. Like, this is why you don't have fans run a team. Because they, they do get friendships involved. You can't be a, it's a business. But you don't, okay. I hear you, Why and I believe you. Why would you sign a player? Believe that. Let me ask you this, though, about that he's, the fan that he's base. not worth the salary. You don't think any of these organizations make decisions based on the fan base's reaction or possible reaction? Uh, not solely. Absolutely not. But it's taken into account. I don't know. I Joe Lake so. traded Monte Ellis, and he got booed out of the building, but and it was the no best move. he had no attachments move. to Monte. <laughs> I tell you what. Here's the other thing. I'm a, I'm a great owner. Yeah. I don't have a lot of attachments no, to guys I get, either. I get, I just don't think there's a lot of men or women like that, Steiny. Well, Brandon Crawford's playing right now or started going into this season because what he's done. Okay. And right so now, he's going to play all year. No, one seventy. It's coming. We can all watch. Right, Ray, uh, Ray Charles can see now. I mean, the time is yeah. Oh, it's so running out. So you're going to bench him? Well, he's already Are you willing being to bench him, Steiny. Are you willing to bench him? If Hey, if I like what I see from Schmidt and the rest of the gang, I mean, it, it's a possibility. I, we're on that road. You're, you're, you're a participation trophy guy. That's what that's what I hear. Like, I get it. Maybe maybe you sign Draymond for three more years, and you sign Clay for three more years, so that the the big wow. three has three more years. Wow! Ain't no way Bill Walsh would have done that. No, you're right. Okay. And I believe Joe Lake, but, but, but everybody here, but everybody and, says, yeah, Bill Walsh is the man. But Joe Lake might be, from what I hear from you and others, and just when he talks, he may be closer to Joe Lake. I'm mean, excuse me, Bill Walsh than we know. Lake was ready to trade Clay Thompson. He had to be talked out of it by Jerry West. Oh, man, like I, I'm not sure that I believe in loyalty from an owner to an employee. I don't expect like I'm <laughs> I I've been working for 30 years. All right? Yeah. 30 years. Look at you. Curry. I expect no loyalty from my employer. None. 
Now, how about I don't, if it was the same? You'd been at the same place no. for thirty, the whole thirty. No. Oh man, they'd kick you to the curb in a second if they had to. That's called. That's why it's called business, no, not it is, fun. And I, I, so the minute if somebody were to look <sighs> at me and say, "Stein, he's just not producing." Hey, Stein, we got a we got a twenty eight year old in here, and we love him. Oh, I, well, I'm Matt Stein, Matt. So. Just keep me around even though I'm subpar. No, that's not how life works. I get that. But I mean, when you say it that I'd way. I'd love to be rewarded for something I did 25 years ago. But nobody cares anymore. Okay, so when let, let's use the great Frank Gore. All right. When he leaves, still is Frankie Gore. Shouldn't have never left, if you ask some. All right. Why do you think the Niners have guys like that come back and retire and put the jersey on for a day? Because there was a relationship involved. And we see this all the time where a guy comes back home. I just, I'm not saying everything you're saying is wrong. I just feel like you were really omitting the the, the connection and the loyalty aspect. Of there it. is no loyalty. The, there might be loyalty right. from the player to the team. There's no loyalty from the team to the player. It's just not the way competition should be set up. For those who really want to be a killer. Thompson. What, what if I told you that? We're going to find out with Clay Thompson. Yeah, I think we might. Because if somebody wanted to call this show or tell you and I that he's on the decline. Well, of course I, he is. I, you know, like, of course he is. Who could? This is the reality yeah. show today. Oh, well, We're not they doing fantasy you. baseball or basketball. But he's on the decline. Yes. Okay. Yes. On the court. Yes. But everything that he's meant and done. Okay. And the jerseys he sold. How many wins is that, that going to get us I'm, next no, year? No, I'm asking you. Off the court stuff, how much does that weigh to zero keep him in a warrior uniform? Zero, We're going to find out. Zero. 